Just thought I'd mention this, after I refitted the anode, I did what I always do and I checked it with a multimeter. Basically you want there to be almost no resistance between the anode and whatever it is that it's protecting. So in this case it's protecting the cell drive. So if I put my multimeter onto the resistance setting and if I go from, doesn't matter which way around your leads are, doesn't make any difference. If you go from the anode, dig that right in there and then you could test on the cell drive but I don't want to damage the paint. So if I instead just go to the prop shaft, there we are, 0 0.2 ohms. So that's a very, very low reading and that's great. That's what we want to see. It can happen that you reconnect the anode and if you measure that, you might get 10 ohms. If I were to walk around this boatyard now and measure the resistance between the anode and the things that are protecting, you will quite often find that they're not actually doing anything because they're just sitting there, but they're not connected properly electrically so you don't have the protection that you want. So it's worth spending two minutes to check and then if you don't have the resistance, the low resistance that you want, you can just remove the anode, clean up the mating surfaces with a little bit of sandpaper and then refit it and try again. That should have fixed it.